So you want to create a scene like this. And you don't know how to port Fortnite assets into Blender, but aren't sure how. Well, in this video, I'll guide you through the process using the latest Fortnite Porting 2.0. For those unfamiliar, Fortnite Porting allows you to seamlessly import models, animations, and sounds directly from Fortnite into Blender with just a few clicks. Before we start, I just want to give a big shout out to Half for creating this Fortnite Porting. And if you want to support Half, I'll leave the donation link in the description. With that said, let's begin with the tutorial, head down to the description, and join the official Fortnite porting server. Please note that the app is currently compatible with Windows only. Navigate to the download channel and select either of the two options. Both are functional. Choose a folder and save the file. Once downloaded, launch the installer and a prompt will pop up to install .NET Desktop Runtime. Go ahead and install it. Once it is done, launch Fortnite Porting, and it will ask you to find the archive path. It should automatically detect your path folder, but if it doesn't locate your path folder, it should be here. After installation, go ahead and navigate to the plugin. We are going to synchronize with our Blender version. Locate and select your Blender.exe file in the path where you installed it. It might detect it automatically, but in this case, I'm using the Steam version of Blender. Once you're done syncing, open your Blender and make sure it's checked in the add-on in Blender. Now, if everything works properly, we can go back to Fortnite porting and choose any assets we want and simply export to Blender. Now let's talk about all the new features integrated into this version. The first noticeable change is the overhauled UI, which is considerably simpler than the old one. You can access all 3D models in one tab, and at the bottom, various categories organize the models. Perhaps the best feature is the Prefabs tab, which allows you to port entire buildings. Using this saves a lot of time and allows you to create big scenes. The next tab is Radio. Its purpose is self-explanatory. Here, you can play and preview the music. Let's customize some settings. The first thing I recommend is going to the Settings tab, Application, and disabling the Show Console. This feature is only necessary for reporting bugs and issues. Moving to the Export tab, the second adjustment I recommend is switching the default rig to Tasty Rig, enabling quicker and easier character posing. As for Use Finger IK, feel free to enable or disable it based on your specific needs and preferences. In the Materials settings, feel free to experiment with different values and make comparisons. Personally, I prefer AO at 0.5, Cavity at 0.4, and Subscattering at 0.04. Here's a comparison for reference. That's it for the setting, feel free to save your changes. Now let's get into the fun part, animations. When importing animations, make sure you have the default rig selected not the IK rig, as the animations won't work with the IK rig. Once you've selected the bone, return to the Assets tab, click the Cosmetics tab, choose the Emote icon, and simply select the emote you want, and click Export to Blender. Here are some cool features on the Animations tab. You can import sounds, loop animation, and update timeline length. That's it for the video. If you have any questions or encounter any issues, feel free to create a support ticket on the Fortnite porting server or leave a comment below. I hope you found this video helpful. Don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss out on any of my upcoming videos.